गुंजिरयो नवखंड धरा मा महिमा अपरम पार छे गुंजिरयो मा महिमा अपरम पार छे ओम स्वामी नारायण स्वामी नारायण ओम स्वामी नारायण स्वामी नारायण स्वामी छे गुणादिदानंद नारायण ज्ञानंद स्वामी छे गुणादिदानंद नारायण छे सहजानंद भक्त अने भगवान मड़ी ने आपे छे सहुने आनंद भक्त अने भगवान मड़ी ने सहुने आनंद आप समूड़ा ये छे आधि व्याधि उपाधि संताप समूड़ा जाये छे जो नव खंड धरा मा महिमा अपरम पार छे गुंजिर यो नव खंड धरा
તમે મળ્યા બક્ષીશમાં અમને અહી મહાત્મા અમે સમજા નહી તમે મળ્યા બક્ષીશમાં અમને અહી તેથી મહાત્મા અમે સમજા નહી હવે સમજાવજો સ્વરો બોળ ખાવજો બસ થવાય પ્રાર્થના કરા રસ બસ થવાય પ્રાર્થના કરાય તેને તો ભેટ માની લે જો રે કાકા રે કાકા રે આજે આવ્યું ટાણું નજરાણું તમને દેવા હો હો બારે કોઈ વ્યાપક માં એક અમે તમને જોઈ લાવે નહી મૂર્તિ માંથી બારે કોઈ ભેટ માની લે જો રે કાકા રે કાકા રે ટાણું નજરાણું તમને દેવાનું હો હો નજરાણું તમને દેવાનું હો હો નજરાણું તમને દેવાનું સજાનંદ સ્વામી મહારાજ ની જય so that was a good tune brahmidhi brahmidhi did a good job what do you say you don't know but at least you can say thank you brahmidhi right thank you shri Rajna, did you hear what Rishi Bhai just said? No, oh, it was not loud. So she should hear that. <laughs> okay. You want to say thank you, Brahmi Didi. Thank you, Brahmi Didi, for complimenting my tabla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> મહારાજની જય અક્ષર પુરુષોત્તમ મહારાજની જય 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 વેલકમ એવરી વન સો વિલ હેવ વિલ હેવ સુરતભાઈ એકચુઅલી ગો થ્રુ ધ પ્રોગ્રામ 
um, first. And then um, we have a few uh, sort of instructions type of suggestions. So uh, Rachna Ben and Sapan Bhai will go through that. And then we'll have today is uh, Isha Ben is going to present on today's topic, which is uh, Agna and Niyam. So she's going to present on that. And then we'll have uh, Dingar Uncle's blessings on that. So that's for today's Sabha. And after that, we'll have lunch. Also, oh, I may just do this right now. We'll do it tomorrow. So after that, we'll have lunch. And then we'll have field day. So uh, field day is like a bunch of games that we're playing outside. It'll be like team-oriented games. Um, so we'll be competing as teams. So Surat Bhai will announce the teams as well. Um, and we'll, that's a bunch of games that we have about six games out there. And then if time permits, we'll have a soccer tournament, right? In the spirit of FIFA. <laughs> so, and after that, uh, evening is uh, Dingar Uncle and some of us will go to the, the Elder Sabha. And there will be like a uh, Sabha with Ratsapan Bhai and Rachna Bhai New Year. And we'll be talking about uh, peer pressure, good friends, maintaining satsang values and peer pressure and stuff like that. There will be open discussion, so it's not going to be like a lecture or anything like that. It's just going to be open discussion. And uh, after that is fireworks. And fire after fireworks is uh, we can take a poll. If you want to do a movie, we can do a movie or we can do uh, indoor games. Up to us. So. That's the plan for today. But there is no fire show outside? Uh, yeah, fire, that's what I meant by fireworks. It's 8.30 30 we'll probably go to the... Oh, then after that you would have right. choice, okay. okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, any comments, suggestions? I'm sorry? Uh-huh. Sure, yeah, we can try that, yeah. Has anybody brought some firecrackers? We'll get that. Uh -huh. You are talking about that thing going circle? If, I don't know if you get it, we try to get it over here. Jamin, Jamin Chakri, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll try to get it. Okay. Um, so, so uh, first is Sapan Bhai. All right. So then you can do the change after this. Welcome everybody. So one of the things that I was going to talk about today was mindfulness. Who knows what mindfulness is? Who wants to guess what mindfulness is? Saj. Has to do with something with the mind. That's good. Anybody else? Anything a little bit better than that? Anything a little better? What? What'd you say? Mind is full? Okay, something like that. Anybody else? What does it mean to be mindful? I'm sorry? To think about a lot of things. To think about a lot of things? Or to think about one thing very carefully? What does mindful mean? Who's, who's in high school here? Okay, because this is, this is pretty easy for high school, right? So, Brummy, what does mindful mean? Um, if you've got like a topic or something, you think about it like carefully, like you said, think about one thing carefully and then contemplate which is like the best solution. I do okay, what about you, Isha? What does mindful mean? Does it mean to be aware of something? If you're mindful about something, are you aware of it? Are you alert about it? What's an example of something you're mindful about, Drushal? Um, your phone. Your phone. Yeah, so what do you mean? Like, people are always on their phones, so you're like constantly on your phone. If you lose it, that'll be the only thought you'll be focused on taking it back. Yeah, so you're, you're paying attention to it. Yeah. Are parents mindful of their kids? So you don't want to lose a kid, like you come to a place like this, you don't want to lose a kid in the pond. You, you, don't, want to leave, you don't want to leave a kid in the car, right? That's mindfulness. Yesterday, uh, Rachna and I went to Walmart, and at the entry, there's a sign that, that cautions parents to make sure they didn't leave their kid in the car. So if, if, a, if a parent forgot their kid in the car, 
Would that parent be considered mindful? They wouldn't be, right? They wouldn't be alert. They wouldn't be paying attention. Right? It so would be F double O L. That'd be a fool. Mind fool. Get it? <laughs> That's what boss said. <laughs> so actually there was a funny story when I was a kid, my mom my mom was pregnant with Seema and I must have been like two or something. And so they I have a sister named Seema, yeah. So um, they, um, my mom got dropped off at the front, and then my dad went to park the car, and then he came back without me. And so my, my mom freaked out on him, and then he ran back and got me. So mindful means to be alert or to be aware. So this idea of mindfulness is to be alert or to be aware about what you're doing at a particular time. Okay? So Drushal brought up this thing about, um, about the cell phone. Okay? How many people have been to a movie and they saw people on their cell phone? Everybody, right? Even, even, even the, the whole, um, uh, that whole entry thing where they say, hey, put your cell phone away, don't be that annoying guy with the cell phone. But we still see people with their cell phone, okay? So while they're in the movie and they're on their cell phone, are they mindful of the movie? They're not mindful of the movie, right? So they're not, they're not paying attention to the movie even though they paid money to go to that movie to watch that movie, right? And what are they doing on their phones during that time? Handara, what are they doing? Texting. They're texting. Who are they texting? God knows who, right? <laughs> you know, like they're just texting anybody and everybody, right? How many of you guys have texted somebody while you're at the movie? <laughs> yeah, a lot of us. A lot of us do that. We do that all the time. You could be. You could be texting the girl. Well, he's called me in several times when I've gone to the movies, too. So it, it is that way. But so when you're mindful of something, you're paying attention to that. You're, you're not distracted by something else. Okay. And the reason I wanted to bring it up for a few minutes today was that we have kind of a nice weekend. We have three days here. Um, we're going to have a lot of things to do. And we want to be mindful of this event. We don't want our mind to be somewhere else, you know. How many of you, I, I just give you an example, right now I got a text from one of my clients who's a general surgeon and he was worried that one of his, um, that something that he wanted processed wasn't processed yesterday. Of course, Josh did do it, but he didn't see his email. But during that moment, because I'm allowing him to text me, instead of focusing here, I'm focusing back on my work, right? So what I'm trying to encourage you to do or think about is that for the next two or three days, Think about maybe turning off that text function or turning off that game function or whatever you guys are doing and try to be mindful of hanging out with each other and having fun with each other and getting to know each other better and going, getting to know some of these other people better. You kids hang out with each other a lot, but this is also a chance for you guys to hang out with some of these older people too. Okay? People are real busy. They're here. They, they have a chance for you guys to interact with them. Try to learn something from them. So the, I just want to give a few minutes on that mindfulness. Um, second thing is, if you want to be mindful about something, you have to think about what the goal is of what you're trying to get out of that activity. So tell me, what are some goals that we're trying to get out of the next couple of days? Rich, what, what are we getting out of the next couple of days? I, so yeah, so build up some teamwork, some activities. Anami, what do you think? Learn more about satsang. What more specifically than that? That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> but something in between that that's like maybe attainable in a couple of days. Seva, good. We can do some service while we're here. What about you, Virat? What is a goal for this next two days? That's true, that's a big topic for that. So we want to learn about Niyama and Agna. So we obviously need to pay attention during those, those presentations, right? Okay. Anybody else have a goal for the next couple of days? Sorry? So get to know other people better, sure. How about have fun? Who wants to have fun for a couple of days? <laughs> Who wants to eat a couple good meals for the next couple of days? You know, it, it can be a good time and that can be a goal. Okay? I'm sorry? And Sudge wants to win the soccer tournament. So, point is, these are the things that we want to have in the back of our mind that we're trying to achieve while we are here for the next couple of days. 
And all of them can be co-achieved, you know. They can all be achieved together. So try to keep that at the forefront of your mind. Try to keep distractions out of your mind. Try to think about, you know, maybe avoiding the cell phone and the, I, you know, the IT stuff or whatever. And try to enjoy each other's company and enjoy the weekend, okay? Alrighty, now, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> After that, anybody want to hand in their cell phones? That's awesome. Okay. Anybody else? You know, there's a point system. You guys are all divided into teams, which I think somebody's going to talk to you about. And so if you hand in your cell phone, your team gets a point. Anybody's interested? If your parents have any questions, concerns, they can always call one of us. At least who's going to turn theirs off? Good. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, and you guys can all kind of think about that while I talk about some kind of, um, you know, instructions and things of that nature, and then we'll take everybody's name down afterwards. So. Um, we wanted to talk about some kind of guidelines for this weekend so all of us can have a really good time safely together. So some of the things, and I'm actually gonna just stand over here because I can't read from all the way over there. So one thing is no unsupervised swimming at any time. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions on that? Okay. Um, stay at least five feet away from the pond at all times. Now there's obviously a reason um, the pond has a lot of algae and things. Yesterday we found a crab. You know, you, you don't want to accidentally fall into the pool or into the pond. Um, there's, yeah, and that thing, I guess, snaps and jumps, which I never thought a turtle could really do. But, um, you know, even if your ball falls into the pond, don't feel like you have to be the hero and go get it. Tell one of us. We'll help fish that... Um, that ball out of the pond. We just don't want you guys to fall in it. Can you specify the us, please? <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, I guess if you're above 20, okay. um, you're allowed to be closer to the pond and help, help bring balls and things like that out of there. But if you're under 20, just kind of stay away, keep your boundary there. We don't want you to fall in. Okay, um, we're asking that you refrain from going upstairs. Um, you know, there's plenty of space down here, outside, in um, the pool house, in the cottage house. You know, then your uncle's sleeping upstairs. We have some other stuff upstairs. So if you guys can all stay down here, that'll be fantastic. Everybody knows where the bathroom is, right? So there's a bathroom that's just down the hall over here. There's also a bathroom in the pool house and a bathroom outside of the pool house. If it's an emergency, yeah, I mean, I don't want you guys to have an accident. Um, everyone must attend all sessions. Is that agreed upon? Yes. You guys want to attend all the sessions, right? Of course. Okay. Under age of six, guardians must... Is, is anybody under the age of six? Who is six and under? Anybody? S Sid, how, are, how old are you? Seven. 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 So that rule doesn't apply right now. Okay, um, everyone should stay with the whole group. No one should stay alone. So if you have to go, like if you're staying over in the cottage house, take somebody with you. Make sure you tell one of us too. You guys are divided into groups. If your whole group stays together the whole weekend, that's a really good thing. It brings harmony amongst yourselves and it also, um, it prevents any unsafe things from happening. So, um, Using of phones are, are prohibited during Sabah and activities. Now we talked about this and most of you have turned off your phones and we'll get the 
names and all that of, of um, who all has done that. Um, now, we talked about sleeping on time already. Now, if anyone is found outside alone at off hours, we'll be sent back home. Now, that's just not a good thing to do. Everybody should be sleeping on off hours, um, like in, in the night and other things. You, you don't want to be roaming around. One thing is just for your safety. There are animals and stuff that can be out there. Not that they're probably most, more scared of you than anything else. But um, it's just important to follow those kind of neums and other things like that. When you're, when you're asked to go to sleep and be in the room, fine, you can talk a little bit amongst yourselves, but please don't leave outside of here. It also puts all of us, it gives us some peace of mind too. But that is a pretty strict rule. If anybody is found outside, off hours, we'll call your parents, you, you'll have to go home unfortunately. And then anyone over 14 um, shouldn't be swimming. Is that right? Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll see what that rules about. Nobody should leave the premises. Oh, definitely. No one should leave the premises. So you guys know the whole gate, right? So no one should go beyond that gate outside into the road. So um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is: Does everybody know how our kind of sewage system works here? Does anybody know? It's a tank, right? It's a septic tank. So what it does is everything that we flush, every shower that we take goes into this tank. And because this, this is outside of um, the city limits, it gets processed in there and becomes clean and all that kind of stuff. Now, these tanks have a certain capacity. So you can only fill it up so much. Now, we're pretty confident that if everybody follows some guidelines that we'll, we're not going to have a problem with the septic tank. If there's a problem with the septic tank and it overflows, then sewage comes out. And it's happened before where sewage comes out of this bathroom down here. And it's sort of gross, you know, all that stuff coming out and all that. <laughs> so we're going to try to avoid that um, by we ask everybody to take short showers. So five minute showers. Now girls, I know it's hard when you're washing your hair and things like that. So if you don't need to wash your hair, great. If you do, you know, put the soap in your hair. Well, rinse, get everything wet, turn the water off, put the soap in your hair and all that, turn it back on, rinse off, kind of like what we do in India, you know, <laughs> without buckets and things. But um, turn it off when you're not essentially using the water to rinse something off. Um, so, and that applies for guys too. So, I'm sorry it's not going to be any lingering hot showers, all this kind of stuff, but let's try to limit it to five minutes. Does that sound doable to everybody? Same with like brushing your teeth and all that. You know, don't leave the water on while brushing your teeth. Brush, while you're brushing it, turn the water off, turn it back on when you need to use it. Okay? Any other questions? I have one suggestion maybe. Yes. Tonight, whenever you are sleeping, most of them are sleep, going to sleep here. The girls, I think. The girls are going to be sleeping and boys are? Cottage house. Cottage house. So, should we have a competition that who would go to sleep first? <laughs> <laughs> and there will be a prize. The prize is that whoever is sleeping first and everybody, other, all others have to accept that, that that person slept first, you know. Sleeping first means eyes closed, no gossiping and doing maybe mara, you know, if you want to do mara, that's fine, you know. That person we can allow them to use a cell phone maybe? Okay, Rishi Bhai. <laughs> they can also get points for their team. <laughs> well, do you want a phone or do you want a prize?
phone? You want phone? Okay, we will talk talk to your mom. You know, I'll talk to your mom. I may have to argue with her, you know, but I'll talk to her. Okay. That Rishi should have a phone. Is that a good idea? Huh? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> so the next topic is uh, teams, and uh, I think there may be some people will be happy, some people may be not so happy. I'm sorry. No, we have four. We have we have four teams. So uh, we have like a we kind of did makeshift badges from things that we had last from last time. So uh, we have names and then we have uh, color on it. Um, so Surabhai will come and talk about the teams. So on on that part, uh, Pintu Bai said that somebody may not be happy. Right? That's generally the case with teams. Okay. Those who are not happy, at least I want to find out 10 different reasons that they could be happy. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have four teams. Um, the teams are Dharma, Gnan, Viragya, and Bhakti. There's four teams. Um, the ones that are bolded and hopefully you can see are the team leaders, captains. Captains, we're going to call them captains. Sapanbhai, Rachanaben, Anjiben, and Sruad. And then... And then the next line down are the team leads. Leads. Co-captains, sure. You can make your own title. Um, we have Jayubai, Koshaben, Dishaben, that's Joshi. There's only one Joshi. Um, and Drushabai. Okay? It's by rank. So, first team is Dharma team, Sabun Bay's team. Sabun Bay? They get the uh, they get the blue sticker, blue sticker. All right, you want to hand out your team tags? <coughs> so he's got Jayubai, Bhavya Bay. Ayush, Pranav, Laku, Janish, James, Saj. And then on the Viragya team, Rachna Ben. Yeah. They are yellow. Team yellow. Angie Ben is the Gnan team. Knowledgeable. Disha, Dara, Richa, Isha, Dara Patel. We got both Daras. Okay, Rachna Ben.
You're going to the Gnan team. And then, Bhakti team, come on. So, okay. okay, all right. So these teams are going to be your soccer teams. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do the FIFA World Tournament. We're going to do a bracket. We're going to do a bracket. And then these teams are also part of your field day teams. We'll do relays. He's coming on he's coming on Sup and Base team. All right. So these teams will be your teams for the weekend. Um, they'll when we have our field day, we can have field day teams, we'll have relay races. Russian event has made an obstacle course for you guys. Um Hopefully you guys, none of you fall in the pond. We play, uh, we play assassin also in the team way, right? Yeah. Assassin? We're going to play assassin. Also assassin. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's all for one, but okay. Um, so, when we're explaining that everybody gets points, these guys wrote down the names for whoever turned off their cell phones. The teams accordingly get points. Right? Okay. There it is. It is your responsibility to report your points to Pintu Bai. If you don't want the points. All right. Okay. Yeah, if you want, you can keep all your cell phones right here. Check them in right here. <laughs> <laughs>